At each school board meeting, staff members make presentations that highlight academic programs in the York County School Division. In January 2010, Michael Labardo, along with Kevin Getz, spoke to the board about the Virginia Preschool Initiative at York Elementary School. Yes, tonight's Accent on Academics focuses on the Virginia Preschool Initiative program at Yorktown Elementary School. And Virginia Preschool Initiative, um, you may also be familiar with the acronym VPI. Um, this program is a family-focused, language-based preschool environment offering a wide variety of enriching activities in a nurturing se setting. Here to share information regarding the VPI program are Principal Michael Lombardo, Assistant Principal Kevin Getz, and preschool teacher Amy Stahl. Welcome. Mr. Chair, members of the board, Dr. Williams, cabinet, and members of the York County community. This evening, our Accent on Academics will provide information related to the Virginia Preschool Initiative Program at Yorktown Elementary Math, Science, and Technology Magnet School. The Virginia Preschool Initiative Program is a vital component of our early intervention and kindergarten readiness endeavors. At this time, Mr. Getz and Mrs. Stahl will take you on a virtual tour of the Virginia Preschool Initiative Program at Yorktown Elementary via PowerPoint presentation, which includes brief video clips. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to share uh, the information uh, with you about the VPI program. In addition, I know that the parents of our VPI students are very excited about our opportunity to share about this wonderful new program. Uh, this is year two of the VPI program at Yorktown. It is also hosted at uh, Magruder. Uh, the VPI program is funded by uh, uh, by each the state and York County. The program is open to all four-year-olds who meet uh, specific eligibility and criteria set forth by the Commonwealth. Our VPI students, uh, they attend either the morning or the afternoon session four days each week. Uh, the program is free for our families and includes transportation to and from school. The preschool in the classroom embraces the YCSD model of inclusive education. As full uh, members of York Tenning Elementary, our VPI students and parents are able to you know, participate in all aspects of the school experience. Uh, the program is led by a fully certified ECS Eaton teacher and her highly qualified paradigm educator. Ms. Stahl? Thank you. Um, our VPI program uses both the AEPS um, along with other supplemental curriculum materials uh, for assessment and planning purposes. Um, we also use the pre-K PALS uh, to assess kindergarten readiness in the area of literacy. And we do that screening twice a year, both in the fall and in the spring. Uh, the VPI uh, classroom itself is divided into multiple learning centers uh, with age-appropriate <coughs> materials in each of those centers. Uh, we also have a carpet area where we sit to conduct our circle time. Uh, the classroom itself also includes the full instructional technology package for Yorktown Elementary School. Um, in the preschool program, we focus on a range of skills and knowledge essential for our four-year-olds to be more successful in kindergarten. Uh, here is a clip uh, where we are using our Handwriting Without Tears program that gives um, our students exposure to handwriting. Did you draw your rectangle? Mm -hmm. Now we want you to practice your foot. H. And where do we always start? At the top. At the top. Um, our preschools are all preschoolers are also given opportunities to learn through play. Uh, this helps to foster their personal and social growth as well as give them opportunities to practice learned skills independently. I need more glue. Circle time is used for our direct instruction to introduce new skills as well as review some previously learned skills. Uh, as you'll see in the next two uh, brief video clips will be examples of students engaging in the learning activities at Circle. Brett, what's your favorite color? Red. Red. Nathan, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Red. 
do? We have two blues. Panetta, hey, what color? Yeah. Her two purples. <coughs> Maybe we can Isabella. Show okay. That's three we, purples. We're not gonna be many. Oh my goodness! All the girls' favorite color is purple. Brett, can you tell me which of these pictures, what happened first? I'm like, ball! Um, that one. You can get it. Come show me. Which one happened first? It was like that one. Um, the preschoolers also enjoy playing on the new playground equipment uh, that was specifically designed for them. This allows them to get some daily exercise in as well as um, uh, to develop and refine their gross motor skills. As you can see from this Accent and Academics presentation, we're extremely proud of the Virginia Preschool Initiative program at Yorktown Elementary and very proud of the wonderful achievements uh, of our preschool students. We'd also like to thank you for the opportunity to present this evening and certainly would be happy to answer any questions. This is the second year? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And you're talking about four-year-olds? Yes, ma'am. Can you share the significant difference between a child who's done this and entered first grade, <coughs> I mean kindergarten, versus a child who has not had this program and enters kindergarten? Um, we do have an example um, this year for our fall kindergarten screening. The second highest score um, was a student who was in our VPI program last year. Okay. So very encouraged by that. And how, what's the total number of students? Uh, we have eight students currently eight, in the VPI and program. And is that the total number you could handle, or were there, is there a waiting list? How, how do you identify your numbers? Uh, we actually have had a waiting list since uh, early September, um, and eight is currently our current cap. But we've had that waiting uh, list since I think September, and I already have parents calling me about the program for next year. But eight is based on your space? How did you how did you come to the number of eight? Thank you. It, it's a state cap. For for the number of stu number of students in the classroom. The number of slots. Uh, yes, ma'am. And when you say slots, I, I'm I'm trying to figure out money and 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 if we can have more slots. This is where I'm going. Sure, but, sure. But to understand you, there are eight slots. Correct. For a pro one program in a school. Correct. Can you have more classrooms in a school, or just the one? program one classroom. The, the regulations would, would relate to the number of students and then the number of early childhood teachers for that number of students. So the state has some guidelines in that area. So right now with our one classroom and our one teacher, You're we're meeting max. that guideline with those eight students. We have four that attend the morning session and then four that attend the afternoon session out of those eight students. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Mentor, you had? I think Mrs. Haywood covered everything that I was going to ask. Was it about the number of students yes. and, you know. It looked like there were more than four in that clip. It is a combination of Virginia Preschool Initiative and uh, early childhood uh, oh, special okay. education uh, preschool classrooms. As you can continue to collect your data, I would love to see your outcomes, sure. just to see the significant difference sure. that you're finding uh, with children mm -hmm. who do participate in this. Sure. All right. This does this connect with our Head Start program that, the, that we have within the county, or is this entirely something separate from it, that, and, or do they interact at all? It's entirely separate, for, except for the, uh, the recruitment of families. And Head Start and uh, the VPI uh, program, we went out into the community in July and August to find uh, students for our program. So in that sense, we are connected. Uh, but as for students who attend uh, both, that's not typical. Um, Dr. Williams? Yes, um, I appreciate you all joining us for the presentation. It was um, interesting to see both the photographs and also the video clips and some great shots of the students and various activities. I'm, I'm curious, uh, Ms. Stoll, what, if you had to choose, say, a, a lesson that was one of your favorite lessons this year that you've had, what, what, what would be, what's been one of your favorite lessons and, and why? Um, one of my favorite lessons actually hasn't happened yet, and it's the very hungry caterpillar, and because the kids love the book, mm -hmm. and there's so much that you can do with it um, when reading for springtime. Mm -hmm. Eric Carle's great author yes. and illustrator. <laughs> well, thank you.